I'm going to stop doing drivers and updates and maybe do less reviews or if any, none at all, I'm going to stop basically all of the electronic stuffs and I'm going to try to have more me. So welcome to the, I'm trying to change my channel production slash what I'm creating slash what is what is this? Why do you have half a shirt on? So I have been creating videos since 2016, right? I have been at this for around eight years, give or take. By the way, this is scriptless, so I'm going to stutter. So why do you have half a shirt on? Because this mic was supposed to go on the shirt, but I didn't put it on the shirt. I So I'm just going to keep it like this for um, dramatic sake, for the sake of making the video dramatic or something like that. Anyway, the trade-off of being extra dramatic today is going to be at the cost of being able to actually function throughout this video and put out what I'm trying to say in my thoughts to paper to words to video. Yeah, and we're skipping the paper, so we're going words to video, and that's really hard for me and most people. So I've been at this since around 2016, right? And I... Ay -ay -ay. My channel is ay -ay -ay right now. I am not getting the viewership I want. I'm not getting the audience I want, and I'm not getting the improvements I want. It's driving me insane, just, just a little bit. Because I feel like I could do so much more, but I'm doing so much less. That doesn't make any sense, but to you, if you are a fellow creator, by the way, thank you for your service. I don't want to make it sound like you're dead, but like, you know, you, you get what I'm saying. Like, if you can vibe check with me, or rather, if you could vibe with me on this one, you can vibe with me on this one. Like, it's, it's like a, if you know, you know. You know the sauce, you know the recipe, you know the deal. And in this case, it's like, hey, I have a channel. So do you. Maybe me. Maybe that guy, the one next to you watching next to you. Maybe you have a channel. And guess what? Your channel sucks, just like mine. And now I'm at a point where I'm trying to understand and trying to figure out, hey, how can I get my money up? Or rather, how can I get my views up? Because let's be honest here, a lot of us will say we are in it for the art and the creative field. But yes, there is some money tied to it. At the end of the day, the bottom line is there is some sort of money tied to it. There is a baseline tied to everything. And in this case, there's a little bit of money tied in here. So whether you like it or not, the reality is there is always going to be money involved. Now, I know I'm jumbling around and I know I'm going all over the place. Get out of camera. So I know I'm going everywhere on this and I know it doesn't really make any sense. But pretty much what this video is supposed to be is like a power brainstorm live. Live. Obviously, I'm going to edit this video to whatever I can edit for. So this video is basically i'm going to brainstorm with you and you're going to brainstorm with me on different various ideas we could fix for our channels and i'm going to treat this as if you were with me in like a discord call a skype call a team speak a curse call a phone call a facetime call an instagram reel a snapchat a twitch chat youtube chat but all in the video so we could actually keep this simple my laundry is done I'm not gonna, I'm gonna pretend that the laundry is not here. So here's the thing. There will be times when as a new creator, you will upload a video. Now that video may or may not do well. Who cares? Nobody. Maybe the YouTube analytics telling you, hey, you've done well this week. Um, that'll probably be about the extent of anyone that actually cares about what's going on in your situation and like what's, you know, going on in your channel. And I've, it, it's only taken me like eight years to realize this. Eight really long years to realize this. So if you're like me and you're kind of a, kind of a nerd for not looking at statistics because you want to just say, fuck it, we ball. If you're like me and you, peak with one to two to three videos that do really, really well, but it just so happens to be in the field that you don't want it to be in. There's two ways you could fix this. One is the very simple way of just, just make a new channel, duh. Uh, which in my case right now, it's a little bit of a predicament because I've worked, I feel like I've worked so hard to get to where I am now. That's only half true. 
it's just painful to start a new channel. Like, what do you mean I can't, what do you mean I can't stream longer than 15 minutes or upload a video longer than 15 minutes or something like that? Like, what do you mean I can't do any of that? So it's like, do I really have to restart this again? It's like having a, like a Minecraft hardcore world. And then you kind of just say, I'm going to delete it because it's funny. That's, that's pretty much what it is. It's just like, I'm going to delete it because it's funny and it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Like for some people like me, I love my saves. I love my progression. When I have my progression, I keep my progression and I will cherish my progression. If I have to restart it, I will say, screw that. I will quit. I would rather quit than restart it. And that's kind of like a really bad thing with my brain because this is also kind of why I've regressed in my ability to create things as a creator into making YouTube videos. It's because... I'm too stubborn to move forward. A lot of my stuff, a lot of my editing techniques, biggest example I could point out, you click on any of my previous videos, you will notice right away that a lot of my editing techniques are from like 2010. This is we're, like, we're talking like iMovie edits, like iMovie level of edits. That's the kind of edits we're talking about here. That is about the extent of my editing. And it has been because I couldn't be bothered to learn how to edit better. I couldn't learn. Not I couldn't learn. I couldn't be bothered. Um, I am more of a settings guy and a config folder guy rather than a programmer guy. I will not create a new script. I will take an existing script and go change the number value from 1 to 10. I am stubborn. And if you're stubborn too, you're going to be stuck in the same predicament that I am right now where you want to change but you can't change. And it's very reflective and it very it hurts very much thinking about it now because not only has this affected my YouTube channel, but it is, it's affect, affected my life. Like my entire life is basically based upon, based around the YouTube channel, which should never be a thing. Um, you should base our YouTube channel around your life, not the other, not basing your life around the YouTube channel. How do you unbase your life to your YouTube channel? And for me, in my case, this was impossible. Or it seems that way, at least. So taking a step in the correct direction would either be, for me at least, would either be going back to school, getting a job. Uh, this is how you could tell I really don't want to get a job in its own right. Like, I like I like the idea of working. I like the idea of working for your money. I don't like the idea of doing a nine to five, grinding away, slaving away to a place that you genuinely don't care about. But we all need these services to be a functional human being of society somehow. But we can't be bothered for the most part. Anyways, that's, that's besides the point. That's a totally different topic. So what I'm trying to get at here is if your channel sucks or if your channel's performing sucky. I haven't used that word since I wrote a journal in like 2010. I used the word. I literally used the word sucky. Kind of funny because I feel like everyone has done that at least once. Anyways. In order to be able to unscrew myself from this um, this predicament that I've put myself in, I have decided that I'm going to make a big switch on this channel, right? It's taking me 10 minutes to say this, or at least in, in terms of recording time, it's probably going to be less in, in post because I'm gonna, you get it. So I'm going to make a big switch on this channel. I'm going to stop doing drivers and updates and maybe do less reviews or if any, none at all. I'm going to stop basically all of the electronic stuffs and I'm going to try to have more me. The reason is, is because I'm missing so much character development. I am basically autonomous. I am basically a robot. I am basically pre-programmed to just do things over and over and over and over and it continues. It just never ends. So I have... Out of the 3,000 hours of Counter-Strike that I've put in, it feels like only 10 minutes has actually, like, been fully utilized properly. And that's terrible. That's a really bad thing. That's not good. That's not good. And that's not a flex, by the way. It's actually pretty sad that I have 3,000 hours in Counter-Strike because Counter-Strike is not the only game I play. You see, I have hundreds upon hundreds of hours in other games as well, just like any other gamer. But that's also even worse. That's what makes it worse. It's because I've spent so much time in front of a screen, I have missed out on all this this time to have some sort of character development, you could say. Which makes it so that, like, I just spat everywhere. To, for me to be a functioning, a functional human of society. It's really weird, actually. Not kind of weird. It's really weird. And it's, 
it doesn't feel normal being able to just go, oh yeah, like today I'm going to go to work. No, like for me, it's, oh yeah, today I'm going to record a video. To unscrew your channel, you could either start a new channel, like I said earlier, or you could sort of undo your past, unlist all the videos and stuff like that. And I'm not going to do that personally. I'm going to keep up everything on this channel as is, as long as it's like normal or I feel like keeping it up, I'll keep it up. Um, but yeah, like I'm going to keep up everything as normal and then I'm just going to try to include more me. And that's going to be a very hard first step in this channel's direction because I am very not an outside person. I'm a very indoors person. So I feel very at home here. Like, for example, if I have to record like this, this is my room. I've been doing this for eight plus years. This is my studio. This is my like territory. This is my battlefield. This is my playing field. You are in my domain expansion. That's kind of cringe to say. But anyways, you get the idea here. So, yeah. So a half-naked guy recording about why his videos are trash. And then trying to brainstorm on how to fix it while also giving tips about how to fix it. And then also going ahead and just saying, yeah, I'm going to take some of these tips for myself and I'm going to go ahead and beeline it. It's very weird. I don't think I've ever watched a video with this style, but like, I don't know if it works, it works. You know, if you're watching this right now and, you, and you're getting potentially any value out of this, which you probably shouldn't because you should already know this if you're a creator or if you're just a viewer you should already know this because it's so simple yeah so i'm going to be taking my stuff in a different direction i want to be able to be more entertaining and potentially more me and just you know have, have my own style you could say my own quote unquote as every other content creator will say niche i need a rebrand I need to be, I need to like branch out, rebrand and like redo how I'm doing everything here. I may actually have to start a new channel. I don't like the idea of that, but I might actually have to do that. And if that's the case, then that channel should be added in the description of this video. If I do decide, if not, if, it, if like you're watching this four years from now and there is no new channel, then I'm probably still on the same channel. But yeah, anyways, like I said, thank you for watching. Peace.